my friends, about to do a little uh, little bad axe throwing. See what they kind of did there in the name? Bad axe, <laughs> bad ass. Pretty fucking clever if you ask me. Also, little 1906, yum yum. Mm. 1906, we'd love to come to your facility. I'm telling you guys, we love you. It'd be nice to come showcase you. One thing, when you start projects, you learn things along the way. You see mistakes that you've made, you see things that you can correct, things that can be made better. But funny enough, one of those things is Tim's been getting too high before activities. And, um, kind of, yeah. Not, I wasn't the one that told him that. Not, no. <laughs> sure wasn't. Um, yeah. Tim, uh, he loves the activities he does, but he doesn't really project it that well. So, I'm on, um, weed restriction. I'm only allowed to get so high now before events in order to properly showcase and show the energy that you guys deserve and I need to be at. So. I need I need a high energy ho I need a high energy co-host with me. Yes. <laughs> but at the same time I, I have to be honest, like I'm kind of the same way. If I let myself get a little too high, then I no matter what the strain is or anything like that or what I'm doing, um I can get everything kind of slows down. It doesn't mean that I'm not enjoying what I'm doing exactly. or don't necessarily have the energy, but you're right, portraying it and putting it out there. Like, I've got all the good feelings and everything, but just, you know, being a good host while you're super baked is probably not the best combination. Like, there's a happy circus going on in my head. I'm just not able to project it to everybody else to mm -hmm. allow them to share in the circus. I'm then, still experiencing it. Yeah, then you guys have to watch us a little... Boring? I don't want to say boring because it's still boring. good. I'm still having fun. Whatever. So this one, um, I can't tell you exactly what the strain is because I forget what it is because I tend to get home and when I take my little plastic recreational containers and I dump them into a glass jar that I have taped off because a little piece of information, plastic is permeable no matter if it's sealed, like Ziploc bags, Did you just make that word like up? That. No, permeable. Permeable is a real word. Spell it. Real word. See, that's a whole different question. Permeable. Same, man. You're going to use a word. you got to spell it. Uh, P-E-R-M-I-A-B-L-E. Permeable? I don't know. You can look it up. It's a fucking word. Per I know permeable is a, a fucking Continue, word. Continue. Sorry. Anyway, plastic is permeable because it's a bunch of molecules pressed together, I guess. I'm sure. not exactly sure the, the chemistry behind it. Um... But it, which makes it terrible for uh, storing weed because that means air is getting to your weed. It's going to dry out. It's going to lose what it's got. And so ever since I learned that a couple years ago um, from a cannabis connoisseur, um, I started transferring my weed into dark glass jars, which is great because it's great for maintaining good quality bud, but it's terrible because I've got one jar that I use, and so no matter what strain I buy, it all goes into that jar, and I get halfway through whatever I bought, and I totally forget what strain it is. So basically, the shortened version is this is drawer weed, pretty much. Not drawer weed, but just unclassified weed. <laughs> It's got a classification, I just don't remember. Anyway, the reason why I'm bringing it up at all is because I found a place um, near 64th and Wadsworth called Best Meds Colorado, and it's a med and rec store, small little place, fantastic uh, employees, the, they're always super friendly, sometimes it's a bit of a wait because it is such a small thing. Um, but they've got, I think they've only got the one store and they're opening another, but they grow everything for their store, which is a quality I look for in my dispensaries. Uh, is if they, if as long as they don't wholesale any of their weed, usually it's, it's, Good God. it's top of the line. Sure. Yeah. Sorry. I learned how to drink one time too. All right. Well, most of it got to the same spot. You know who else grows her own weed? Lucy Sky. Lucy Sky grows her own weed. Funny. Hmm. We'll have to try and get over there and check out their grow sometime. That would be a be quite nice delightful experience, I agree. Mm -hmm. We'll see if we can line that shit. You know what else is a delightful experience? $40 fucking fair monkey. That was a delightful experience. $40 fucking dollar fair monkey. There he is. He's coming with us for bad axe throwing, too. $40 fair monkey. $40 fucking fair money. Four, $40 Four fucking, fucking fair monkey. monkey thing. Jeez. That was fun, though. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun, and we're definitely going to get t-shirts made. $40 fucking Fair Monkey <laughs> is getting his own t-shirt <laughs> with me or by himself. That matches your shirt right now. <laughs> so, that's all I'm allowed. That's it. I don't get any more. Otherwise, I become useless. Happy in my head, not happy in front of you. So... <laughs>
right. Let's um let's take forty dollar fucking fair monkey and go throw some axes. Oh yeah, I'm excited about this. I'm I've always wanted to throw axes. I've never done it before. I'm curious to see how terrible I do or how successful I am. You know what the best part is? Huh. You're paying for it. Oh, that is true. And I know I'm going to do terrible, so there's no disappointment here. It's all success from all here on success. out. You know what else success is successful? Success and happiness. That's successful right there. Fucking okay. mocking me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Number one roll here. Anybody who's in the box, if anyone is retrieving their axe at all, please don't throw yours. Two hands on top. You're going to go to throw. You're going to have your dominant hand on top, your dominant foot forward. So when I go throw, it's right in this position. You're ready. Right hand on top, right foot forward. You're going to take one step with that opposite come up over your head, and then you want to release right about out of That being said, you can still throw two at a time if you want, three at a time, four at a time, whatever you can manage. Did you catch all that, fucking $40 fair monkey? No. Nope. Did you catch all that, $40 fucking fair monkey? We're about to throw some axes. He's going to throw some axes. We're going to get you all safe and sound. And this, this is about, this is a, this is about, What's to happen? What the fuck? Why can't I see that? This is about. This is what's about to happen. What she said. Throwing too hard. Just throwing too hard. Too much power. Too much weight room. That's right. Good. <laughs> Danger zone. Not only is it fun, you get to work on your reflexes too, because them shit's coming back really quick. And I ain't getting stabbed with an axe today. <laughs> Not today. Shops that are we can get a massage some, afterwards. We can get some sausage. There's a brewery, a deli, and breakfast place. The command Insurance center company. I don't know what the fuck that is. Probably like a answering service. Liquor store and a American Family Insurance. Quite well-rounded <coughs> shopping plaza here for some bad axe throwing. Yeah. Off the interstate. Everything. On a little thunderstormy day. I'll go back to this one. I'm not here. I'm going to run back out to the car real quick. <laughs> no, I'm totally kidding. Because you were hitting them all before I started. Oh, oh you're going back to this one. <laughs> yeah, because okay. uh, that board, I think. And yeah. Ah, oh, it's the left one still. I'm going to get more snap on it. Powerful of a feeling it is, even though you suck 90% of it, those 10% when you hit it, it's a pretty dope feeling to chuck an axe at something. Oh no. It's kind of dark. <laughs> I don't mean it like that, I guess. <laughs> Woo! Dirty! Woo! It's a really cool feeling, it really is. Such a good idea. I got my weed in me. I just assume I, there's that guy that played Aquaman. I forget what his name is. Momoa. M Jason Momo. M something along those lines. That big, giant, beautiful human being. Yeah, yeah. Well done, sir. Uh, You're a handsome fella.
good job. But I feel like the he started an axe throwing trend via a couple of axe throwing posts that he made. And I swear in one of those, he like slams a beer either before and after. So I think drinking beer while throwing axes is probably, probably goes hand in hand. How we do. I grew my beard for this. It's the only reason why I can throw these. It's a nice looking beard. Man bun and everything. <laughs> Guys looking good. Let's see if I can handle the big one. guy was making fun of me. <laughs> you know what I thought was crazy? That you were able to drink beer at the go-karting we did the other day, but if you drank it, you couldn't get on the go-kart. So, do you then race and get hammered afterwards to do nothing, but then get in your real car and drive? <laughs> that is an interesting question. I think about that all the time when it just comes to the access of alcohol in general, but no, you're totally right. Hmm. Like, you're not a, they're very strict about not letting you getting the go-kart drunk. No do you but if you want to get shammered and then drive your own car. Leave and at your own discretion, then mm. yeah. I'm not saying they're supporting it. that. I'm not saying they're supporting DUIs, obviously. True, true. I think I'm being so reactive to getting ready to jump out of the way. You're worried about it? A little bit. Good. compared to cannabis, cannabis and weed. Well, you can get a DUI for weed too. Yeah, that's true. So there's no double standard. But I can't get weed at the go-kart place. Nope, but we got stoned before the go-kart place. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Wait, don't tell anyone that we drove go-karts and got high. That's okay, it didn't, it didn't show anywhere on the lawyer. All they did was say you could not drink alcohol. They said, Did you Shit. read that whole waiver? Nope. I almost did just for this conversation, but then I went, that's a lot of words and I've got other shit on me. And I clicked OK. Mm. <laughs> Whoopsies. Yeah. Oh, well. Say anything about that? Can we throw it backwards? I don't think they'd be very intelligent. <laughs> Before the camera went on, I nailed like 15 in a row, double singles, it didn't matter. Let him have his glory now. I got nothing to prove. Nothing to prove. Hey! Oh. 
Sucesso!